day, Joe Spencer here from Bogle Builders. Today we are going to do a walkthrough on one of the houses that we've just finished renovating. Along here we've redone all of the fence work. This was all falling down. We've tried to blend it in as much as we can with the neighbours at the same time as not losing the detail for our own. The front section of the house is old heritage that needed to stay as was uh, to blend in with um, the feel of the area and it's got a heritage overlay obviously. We've created at the front section just here a sound barrier to reduce the amount of noise that's going under the road, uh, for, sorry, under the house from the road. And we've also done that by putting in under the house air cell underfloor insulation throughout the entire floor section. This way reducing any sound coming up. And also all the floors have been double sealed with a uh, particle board floor and then an overlay floor on top of that, whether that be carpet or uh, as you'll see when we go inside. The balustrading here is all been pre-primed pine. Stairs a spotted gum, handmade on site, um, all housing joins throughout. Here we've got a spotted gum deck this has also been screwed down. You'll see that we've got screw holes all the way through. Um, and it's also been Q-Tech oil. Q-Tech oil is one of the best oils you can get. It penetrates into the timber as well as seals it. There are other oils on the market that help, sorry, I'm just taking my shoes off here, that help with um, just sealing the timber. But what we wanna do is penetrate into the timber at the same time thus creating uh, a much better, longer lasting timber and deck slash porch area. We'll also have a look out the back in a second and see the deck out the back. So from here you can see we've got all of the front nice and flat. Everything continues all the way through. Bluestone capping, this will all be grass, all this area will be grassed uh, and a, an edging um, hedge. Uh, the owners want to put around the edge there. These windows here are specially made double hung, double glazed windows system. Uh, you can get cord and weight or you can get these spring loaded. Um, both have their advantages and disadvantages. Cord and weight's old school, it's very good. Um, but some people prefer the spring. Here we have our front door, you'll see the front door surround has got a seal all the way around it. This minimizes any sounds coming in. Double glaze system here, you can see with our uh, argon gas in between. Um, look down the hallway. This is the front section, old heritage. All of these walls were popping, all of the old plaster was um, coming away from the wall or bulging in places. Um, pretty seamless finish now. Uh, we've gone over all of the walls, we've sealed all the walls. This is an automatic opener and closer skylight from Velux. Um, brilliant window system, skylight. Um, walk into bedroom one. Bedroom one here. If you look at some of our videos, you'll see that we've removed a chimney. This is the room where that chimney was removed. Right there. And now the wall is flat, fairly seamless. Don't have any problems with it. Um, window is a double glazed window. That's the one that we saw from outside. And all the doors internal we've replaced and the door surrounds. This way, we were able to blend in much better with the surround. Uh, we weren't gonna be able to remake the old lava and plaster, uh, sorry, the old door jam blend in with the lava and plaster. Um, it just wasn't gonna work. So what we've done is we've created all new door jams. These are actually wider. Uh, and they're specially made just to fit in to the old design of the house. Here we've got a floor to ceiling. Here we've got a floor to ceiling cabinet. If I close this door, you can see we've got the most amount of storage that we could get in this area. 
carpets, especially made carpets, hand dyed. Uh, double glazed window, double hung. Um, lighting straight above, all specially made for the clients. Here we've got a door that we've created into the wall cavity itself. This way we can lock the front section and back section out. You can see that we've put a double seal in here. What that does is it stops the sound coming around and it blocks it off. This here from here on, so this is the old and this here is the new. So from here onwards, this is all brand new build. All brand new build. You notice all of our walls are nice and straight and flat. Um, all of our lines are nice and continuous. We've got highlight windows up through here, bifold doors that open up, sliding doors that open up to create this open corner. Uh, then we've got a really nice kitchen that user friendly. Glass splashback. Uh, glass splashbacks are, are really good. They, you can clean them off really quick and easy. You can also write messages to each other, like a whiteboard. If you get whiteboard markers, you can write messages to each other so you don't forget stuff. Um, undermount sink, which are really handy, obviously with the chopping board on top. This comes in handy if you're cutting up meat and you want to get the juice straight in there and not mess up your tops. Induction, induction cooktop, really good, especially if you've got kids, brilliant oven system. These are what we call finger pull drawers. So there's no, and they've got soft closes, I should say. Um, so there's no handles on these, they're just nice and you can see that they're all angled really well through here. Doors are the same, no handles, all opening with a soft closer, so no kids get their hands stuck in these. Um, finger pulls at the top as well. This is all two-pack, everything's two-pack in here. Two-pack's a very good coating over the top of the kitchen. Uh, you can get vinyl wrap, vinyl wrap's also really good. Um, they're pretty close to the same costings nowadays. This is a stainless steel kicker that runs all the way through. And if you have a look on this brekkie bar edge, we've got the cantilever out, the timber panelling that blends in here. The timber panelling also blends in, if you look at the floor, blends up into our laundry. So this is our laundry area. So this is our laundry area in here. So we've got our washing machine and dryer. The fan's just been installed, so we've just got to put the dryer back up into position. Overhead cabinets, storage. The more storage, the better in an old place like this. This is also a cupboard, obviously, on this far corner. Um, We've also got, which is quite nifty, I should show this, is a whites and a colours bin. So you can have a whites and a colours bin that closes up and you don't have any worries with it at all, um, separating your whites and your colours. So none of you wives can yell at us husbands for not having our colours and our whites separated. This here is a step that we created uh, and you can see that we've got a beautiful shadow line that goes all the way around with continuous lines here. We've got continuous lines that run straight up and over, seamless finish. This brings old school carpentry into a new build, defines a house like this. You can have really beautiful flooring or you can have a beautiful finish, but if you don't get the detail like this right in the first place, then it just doesn't work and flow through. Here's the sitting area. We've got a box section here because we've got a flat roof on the other side and we've got a box section here with a flat roof on the other side. We are governed by the heights on this due to the being on the boundary. So, and fire hazards and ratings and all that kind of jazz. Here we've got a double glazed window system. Um, you can see that we've actually hand polished all of that timber surround all the way through. Uh, and you can, you can really hear that it has deadened off the sound from that road as well. Um, high door, this is a nice tall door so it opens up the area of this bedroom. 
Um, the other thing that we've created here is cross air, as much cross air ventilation as we can. So these windows up the top here are actually automatic opener closes. Um, they also have a um, sensor, rain sensor. So if it rains, the windows automatically close. The Velux in the hallway has the same thing. So what we're creating here by putting a window there is cross air ventilation. The cheapest type of air conditioning for any house is cross air ventilation. The more cross air ventilation you can have, the better. That is the whole idea of actually putting in this skylight up here. What we're doing is we're allowing the hot air that gets caught up in this ceiling line to come straight up and out. It's facing the south. This skylight's actually facing the south. So it gets the cool air, cool breeze coming in from the, uh, the Melbourne Bay area. If it was facing north, it would be getting a lot of the hot air. Um, so really important positioning of windows and doors. This is our west face over here. This is our east face over here. So we're getting an east-west breeze through the house and we're being able to circulate the air with this um, skylight into the bathroom. Here we have a bathroom. It's a walk-in bathroom. I'll just turn that fan off. Whoops. Just turn that fan off. We've got our lights straight above here. Yeah, sink. Vanity. Timber panelling vanity. Uh, Freestanding bath. And you can see that we've got the shower shelf for our shampoo and etc. So we've got a shower head and we've also got a shower on a rail or a free um, a removable shower head. So if you've got kids, they're a brilliant idea. The other thing that we've got in here is a attic ladder. These are very handy, these in new houses or old houses being renovated. Um, what it helps with is a lot of storage and space. So places like this, we're very governed with space. So what we've done is we've created an attic space, emboss ladder, if I can just say, very good ladder. Um, we've created a space up here and what it does is it allows us to move about freely here we go so here we've got our fans coming up here we've got all of our space so we're able to store a lot of our belongings up into the roof space this has all been hand pitched um, to Australian standards or above and we've also put um, additional flooring up here just so we've got places to move and we don't damage anything it's critical that when you put an attic ladder like this up, that when it opens, you make sure that you have the clearance uh, across the ceiling and down the walls. We actually had to move this back. We had it centered, we had to move it back 150 mil just so we could make sure that we had the ladder opening. Being able to walk up the ladder um, from the hallway. So we got maximum ability to get as much as we can up there. Out the back. We've created a nice decking area with rear lane access and we've also created these boxes. Let me show you these boxes. So here we have the boxes and they blend in obviously with the deck. But they also double up as storage and they're on wheels. So if we have a barbecue out here, we can move them about whichever way we want to. And we can create a bit more of an atmosphere when we open up these doors here and this whole area then becomes an entertaining area. Hope you've enjoyed our excursion through one of our builds. If you've got any questions or queries about what we can and can't create in a old to new renovation extension, please just send me an email um, and we'll go through your plans and what you want to create. Thank you for watching.